with telling us your name and where you're from. My name is Stephanie Haynes and I'm from Pasco. And Stephanie, can you please tell us uh, your amazing testimony that you have for us tonight? Well, um, in December of 2014, I uh, made the decision to rededicate my life to God. And um, I, um, like most reborn or born again Christians, I wanted to make church a priority um, and be consistent. And um, I did well <laughs> at first. And um, then I just felt like there was times where it was a big struggle for me to, to get to church. And um, so... Um, basically, um, it just felt like every time I would try to come to church, uh, something would come over me. I felt like um, anything and everything that could have happened, happened. Um, and so by the time I actually got to church, I was like a mental breakdown. And <laughs> um, one of the days that I came, uh, my mentor, uh, she told me, wow, you look like you're... Uh, anxious often and you're and you're restless and I kind of thought to myself like well yeah if you only knew what I went through just to get here you would understand um but I really uh just started to think about that um over the month's time and and I started thinking about areas of my life where I was anxious and felt restless and stuff and um I remembered that um I had like trouble sleeping at night that um that I would struggle with like torment torment and tormenting thoughts of just things of the past and stuff and um how it really affected my life and I started really putting a lot of thought into that and and realizing what a problem it was and um just other areas too um I you know just easily angered or or feeling anxious and stuff um, so bad that I would have to just take sleeping pills just to get any kind of relief, and that's just not any way to live. And um, so, um, so after you, your mentor was telling you that you know there was this restlessness, and you started to examine your life and notice that there was anxiety and fear, and that you even noticed that at night you were in torment. You had to take sleeping pills because you couldn't sleep. Is that correct? Yes. And then um, basically from there, it just got, it got worse, you know, months down the road, um, one day out of nowhere, uh, I started having these intrusive thoughts that I couldn't control, like they were just out of nowhere, um, thoughts that I knew were not coming from myself, thoughts that um, <laughs> just not the way that I think, and they just made me feel terrible. They were, they controlled me, controlled me and how did it affect your day? What it, how did it impact you? Well, I felt like paralyzed. I didn't feel like I could even be around anybody like so bad that I was like, I can't even be around my kids. I'm having these thoughts that are just insane. They're not even from me. I know they're not from me. So I, uh, that night, because it happened to start towards the night, and that night I, I, uh, I was like, well, I'm going to try everything I can do. <laughs> and everything that I did would not work. And um, so I was like, oh, I know. I'll just take a sleeping pill. That'll help, and it'll be gone in the morning. So sure enough, I did that, and the next morning it came, and it came on like even worse. And I was like, what is going on? Like, this is insane. And um, so I battled with it all day long, and uh, finally worked up enough courage to text my mentor and say, um, I really need prayer. I don't know what's going on, but whatever's going on, it needs to end tonight. <laughs> and um, so I got a hold of her, and um, she came over that night, and uh we prayed, and um, I believe that I was delivered. Um, I, I knew God was delivering me from the oppression, and um, yeah, I the next the next morning I woke up and um, and I slept like a baby that night too. <laughs> no sleeping pills. Um, and uh, I felt recharged. I felt like a new person. I I. Um, I even read two books in two days, which anyone who knows me knows that I am not a reader, so that was proof that I was delivered. <laughs> and um, uh, that night I remember too, we, when we were talking, she had said um, that don't be um, surprised or worried, you know, those thoughts might come back, but they're no longer in you, they're no longer a part of you, um, and you'll have to fight, fight them off if they come. And um, so 
you know, I didn't have that experience at first. And I was, everything was really good. And then a couple of days went by and those thoughts were starting to knock at my door again. And I, and I was like, oh no, I like recognized it right away. And I had to rebuke those thoughts and fight and um, they'd go and then they'd come back and I just kept fighting and fighting. But the difference was this time I was stronger. And this uh, prayer, when you believe that you receive deliverance, this has been a few months. Can you tell us the changes that you saw other than the fact that you read two books immediately? You no longer take sleeping pills. Is that correct? You can sleep peacefully? Yeah. Um, I noticed in the last four months, um, I've been consistent. <laughs> it feels so good. And um, I used to make excuses. Any excuse, I could find an excuse. And now there's no excuse. I want to be here. Um, I want to help other people that might suffer with the same things that I went through. Um, and I hope that my testimony touches other people so that they, they know that there's hope for them. That the, the, the. And uh, before we finish off, can you just tell us one last thing? Is that Was there anything else that you noticed about the way you saw or perceived things? Um, I noticed a couple days or a few days or a week or so after my deliverance, I started just, things started changing. Things were, you know, God was talking to me, I feel like. And um, I, uh, my thoughts on even just drinking and stuff um, changed. I, like, whereas before, if I had, I felt like if there was a um, situation where I could not be at a drinking event or something, <laughs> um, that no longer was a part of me. I, I felt like it yeah, a different perspective of it. And so it changed a lot for me. Amen. Come on, give it a hand of applause. And those, those that are here and those that maybe are watching on live stream, maybe they are dealing with intrusive thoughts or anxiety or heaviness. What type of advice would you want to give to them tonight? Um, I'd say don't underestimate the power of prayer and, um, or home groups that, that while you can um, receive uh, or gain wisdom from your home group, you can also receive freedom. So, um, and freedom, you can't underestimate that. It feels so good, and I'm here to testify that. 